Good afternoon, my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? I got this yesterday. A very good friend of mine found it on a Facebook selling site by his work. And he bought it for me. Can you tell what it is yet? I imagine you probably can. It is a Dyson DC01 breakthrough in utter mint condition. Oh. Telephone! I'll pause. Oh no, mum's answered it. I won't be mum's, it's lunchtime. So, this is actually very exciting because I know some of you probably know this, but I seem to have, through not really meaning to, a bit of a DC01 collection. And this is the last one I need. I now have them all. The standard, the distill, the normal blue one. I unbox that on YouTube. That's one for Manchester Vax. An absolute plus. And I class the DA001 as one of the O1s. And now I have all six basic varieties. I've still got all the stickers to do so you've got the one with the old Dyson logo DC01 some of these stickers were different but I'm not going to push too hard for those in a minute mainly because I haven't really got the space to add another five or six to the collection as you know you see my loft so here is this I'm very happy how unfaded it is in the picture that I saw because it made this send me a picture and said oh are you interested in this and I, I, I couldn't type yes fast enough did look a little bit faded but I still said yes please but it's absolutely spotless that's a little bit warm but they all do that if I very carefully move it forwards you can see that it is it must be late because there's no date I noticed that straight away and I'm sure Tayab's room will be able to tell me whether this will be I presume this will be a YDK at 1200 watts but look, it is number 153,914, which I'm not quite sure why, because I'm sure I've read that there are only 100,000 of these. But that must be wrong, because I've got number 153,000. It's not all fantastic news, as in it has the very common DC01 wheel issues, but that's fine, because I, I have a wheel kit up in the loft. It's got both of its... If you collect DCA ones or you want to collect DCA ones these snap off very easily. So you do have to watch out for that. It's obviously seeing cable issues at some point, because I don't think I can show you, but look, there's a bit of burning there. They always snap there. That's just par for the course, really. Nice mint one. The silver hose. It is lovely. It is undamaged and very, very mint. I haven't actually checked the filters on it yet. So let's have a look at... Oh, hello. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's, that's dead, isn't it? Let's be honest. We'll leave that out for a second. If I pop you down... I bought my tripod today. I planned this. You see, I'll do it every once in a while. That feels is not too bad. We'll keep that one in. We shall. <laughs> so, tools wise, we've got the crevice tool, the dusting brush with the old style Dyson logo and the adapter. It doesn't have an upholstery brush, but that's not going to be too difficult to find, let's be honest. If we pop it down, base plate is completely migging. But uncracked, has the rubber washer, rubber washer, rubber spring bit, but that's what makes, obviously on the newer ones you've got the hose, haven't you, but on these that's what makes it spring. Actually quite a stiff brush roll for a Dyson, and I presume it's got a belt because that's not terribly floppy. It's got a little bit of damage there, you can still get those, I'm sure Uncle Stuart from Manchester Vaps will be able to sort me out there. And it is very clean. So, there's the machine. But that's not all. What was also included were some spares. So we have a nice box with three belts in. I'm going to use these because I do have a small collection of all of these boxes, but they are unused. These are a bit matted. There's three belts in there, genuine Dyson. The box is dated. 
27th of February 1997. So that is over, yeah, 20 years old. And some filters. These had second-hand filters in them. I've been those because I've got enough filters for them. I've got the second-hand ones. So I'll use these because, sorry, why not? That's dated... Focus. That way around. February 2000. So we'll get one of these. And we may as well replace the filter. Obviously it will get fully refurbished at some point. Probably not before the standard blue one does because I've had that longer. I must not get sidetracked with all of these shiny new things. So there we go. We'll put those back in here. I may as well use them to do with some decent Dyson filters that I can use. So there we go. We'll put that in the bin. But it gets better. <laughs> the instruction manual. DCO1 Breakthrough Limited Edition to commemorate some Van Alph finds 1,800 mile walk across Antarctica. Tja, I've walked further than that just to get a pie. Here we go. This, is, this isn't dated either. I thought they were dates, but they're not. But look, it's got the full minty instruction manual. That's incredibly awesome to have. Nice, complete machine. But I haven't actually turned it on yet. My mates heard it running. They fired it up when he picked it up. It has a grey round plug as well. I know some people like to look at what plugs the machines have. So it's obviously not an early one. So it was square. So it does run. But obviously my, my, my friend isn't an expert on these matters as we are. So let's give it a proper test. And see what it's like. <laughs> Let's be honest, DCO ones aren't the best performers ever. Careful of those wheels as well. But it works. I mean, I think the belt's not stretched. <laughs>
It's obviously picking up dirt because that wasn't there before, neither was all that. So yes, there we go. My very nice, the last one I need. I can't put this in portrait because the video will go weird. Look, sideways. DC01 breakthrough, the last one I need. So now obviously I need to refurbish this and the blue one and have a bit of a group video, don't we? We shall do that. It won't be soon, I'll be honest. A, bit, a couple of months. I'll get the whole shebang down, every box of filters, every instruction manual, every tool set, and we'll have a bit of a bit of a group video. But for now, here it is in all of its unfaded lovely glory. Thank you very much for watching. Next time you see this on video, it should look absolutely spotless. So until then, bye bye.